It's Thanksgiving time, one of my favorite holidays. Greetings and welcome to Cooking Up Advice with Dr. June, where we cook up a dish and we dish out advice. So here I am ready to show you what you can make for Thanksgiving. First we have Cornish hen and I give you options. You can either leave it in the pan and bake it in the oven or you can use a slow cooker. Okay. Here are just some frozen French cut green beans. You know what? Steam in the bag. Make your life easy. Of course was Thanksgiving without cranberry sauce and then potatoes. You don't have to mash them or anything like that. You can just cook them in the pan in the on top of the stove and I will show you how to do that later. Okay, but first what I'm going to do is talk to you about the Cornish hen because why? That is so easy. It's little. Look at the little cute Cornish hen. You don't need one of those big gigantic turkeys that have to dry out. You really have to know how to cook a turkey. My sister's great at it. Me, not so much. So, I do Cornish hen, and it's so simple. All you have to do, make sure you wash it, run it under some water and scrape it off, and then season it. I like to use seasoned salt, and then this is a mixture of garlic and black pepper, okay? So all you have to do is season it up, rub the seasoning on the Cornish hen. Yeah, and it likes to have this bathrobe. It looks so cozy. Who doesn't like to have their bathrobe? Okay, so then you rub the Cornish hen with the seasoned salt. Yes, and don't forget to season the inside as well. If you want, I don't normally stuff mine, but if you want, you can stuff it with like mm, some type of fruit, like a small apple or a plum. That's really delicious, okay? If you like regular stuffing, you can use that too. But basically, you just rub it up with the seasoning and it's really good to rub it so it can get in there. Uh, either way, whether you're gonna cook it in the pan or if you're gonna cook it in the slow cooker. And once you put it in the slow cooker, you can just walk away. Just put some water in there and off you go, okay? So I'm gonna put mine in the slow cooker and then I'm gonna plug it up. And when I come back, I am going to answer a question from Val who wants to know what she should do for Thanksgiving. And I'll show you how to make the rest of the dish. So I'm back now to show you how to make dessert. It is really simple. You make it right in the baking dish. How easy is that? It basically consists of the pre-cut biscuits and I've already sprinkled um, with some uh, baking spray in your pan. So all you have to do is put in your pre-cut biscuit and stretch it out. You also have the options of using the muffin pans. I've used those before, but I bought the really big pre-cut biscuits this time. So that's why I'm using the big pans. And plus they're orange and they're green, you know, festive holiday colors. So you stretch it out. Try not to be too rough like me and tear it up. <laughs> and then I've already put the seasoning on the apples as well. I put nutmeg, I put cinnamon, and there's an apple spice. You can just get it straight from the grocery store. You don't have to go to a specialty store for any of these things. All right, so you take them, and I bought the pre-cut sliced apples because I'm lazy. And so you take those pre-cut sliced apples, you put it in the pan with the biscuit dough, and there you have it. Now, what this is, is cornstarch and water. And you just put that in there, stir it up so it won't get thick, so that it can thicken up 
you know, to make it real juicy. Cause you don't want it dry, do you? No, you don't. So <laughs> you put that in there. And then you add some sugar. I use granulated sugar to give it a nice flavor. Not too much, you don't wanna take away from the apple. And I use brown sugar that gives it a really nice taste. And look at that, right in the pan. How easy and simple is that? So you just sprinkle it on top, move it around a little bit. You don't even have to take a real spoon and stir it up. It's going to all just gel together. Now my husband, he likes cranberry. So I just took the cranberry and I crunched it up and then I'm gonna put that on top. Now the one, the package I bought with the pre-cut biscuit, it has eight. So if you want to, you can top it with another dough if you like that kind of topping. But I like pecans and my husband likes cranberry, cranberries. So I am topping his with cranberry and I am going to top mine with pecans. And there you have it. How simple is that? Ding, ding, ding. Okay, I'm going to make the other ones and I'm going to answer Valerie's question. So Valerie, she wants to know what to do with her vacation time. She finally has Thanksgiving off and she is so excited. She had to put in early because normally she doesn't get that time off and she has a full week. And she wants to do like some, a little bit of vacationing, a little bit of relaxing at home with her husband. But here's the problem. She normally goes to her brothers every year and his wife and his wife's mother-in-law is there and you know, it's kind of like a little family gathering with them and he wants to have it again. So now she is majorly distraught because it's like, what do I tell him? Do I tell him I just want to have a little vacation and do my own thing? What do I do? Well, you know, Valerie, all I can say is this. It's a good thing that you're a mature adult with a job and a husband and family so you can make your own decisions and be able to tell your brother, sorry, I love you, but this year I won't be there. And it's also, it's a good thing that there are other holidays and other days that you can spend with him. It just doesn't have to be on Thanksgiving. So there you have it. All you have to do is say, brother dear, I'll see you at another time. You can see him the following weekend. You can see him before Thanksgiving. You can see him maybe for Christmas. But whatever the case may be, I think that you should just say to him that you want to have this time with your husband. You finally got the week of Thanksgiving off and that's what you want to do. Good luck to you, Valerie. All right, I'm going to finish putting these together. I'm going to stick them in the oven and I'll meet you in the kitchen to show you how to make the potatoes. Now we have our dessert in the oven, baking at 350 for about 20 minutes. And here we're sauteing the potatoes in a skillet. Just take some potatoes, slice them up. You just put a little bit of olive oil and water in the pan, not even a lot, and just let them cook. You don't even have to put a lid on it. You can turn them over once if you like. As you can see, they're already getting opaque. And I added just a little bit of onions and peppers and I seasoned them. You season to your taste. I put a little seasoned salt and pepper on mine. So it's totally your choice. And in a matter of minutes, the potatoes will be done. And guess what? When we come back, I am going to show you the completed meal for just two on Thanksgiving day or any day that you choose. See you in a second. And there you have it, your simple Thanksgiving dish. They'll think you slaved over it. Let me tell you a recap. You have Cornish hen, so simple. Just rinse it under some water and scrape it off. Season it, put it in a slow cooker, forget about it for four hours. The only other th two things you have to cook is your dessert. You have the biscuit dough, you put it in the pan, and you see how it rises. You don't even have to pull it all the way up to the edges. It edges, it rises up. Throw your apples in there, your seasoning, stick it in the oven. Saute the potatoes in a skillet. 
get some vegetables that you steam and throw those in the microwave and slice up some cranberry. Ding, ding, ding. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's edition of Cooking Up Advice with Dr. June and that you'll join me next time. We will talk about what to do if you're single during the holidays. I know it's not the greatest thing to have to deal with, but guess what? We're going to give you some suggestions to make it easier. See you next time and happy Thanksgiving.